Hello drinks fans, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make my Mai Tai recipe. There are lots and lots of different Mai Tai recipes out there. They go from the ridiculous kind of fruity grenadine concoctions that some high street bars um, flip up to get all the sweet tooth disco drinking generation involved um, to my kind of flip on the traditional there we've got the hard liquor variants Trader Vic was um, I think he was the guy who invented this the Mai Tai it certainly had his own recipe for it um, so it's kind of a little bit similar to that with a certain bit of um, a flip in there so that's what this video is all about my uh, question of this video uh, what should we go for Mai Tai have you ever drunk a Mai Tai before Simple yes or no in the comments below. That's what I want to know. Have you ever drunk a Mai Tai before? Yes, no, comments below. Remember, hit those subscribe buttons if you're watching on YouTube. And if you've just subscribed, uh, remember to hit that bell um, icon that gives you the notifications every time I upload a video, which when we get properly rolling in 2019 will be every Wednesday and every Friday at 7 p.m. UK time, because I've noticed a few of you uh, US subscribers hitting me up now. So this is what we're going to get into today. As I was going to say, I'm going to rattle through this. This is my Mai Tai recipe. I'm going to make it in the sh uh, shaker. It's going to go in my little it's the 12 ounce rocks glass, these are, or 12.3, 12.3, something like that. Uh, we're going to make it in the cocktail shaker. So, the very first ingredient we want is um, fresh lime juice, okay? So, I'm going ju about 20 ml of fresh lime juice. I've got it uh, freshly squeezed. If you want to get a whole lime yourself, that's absolutely fine. But that's just freshly squeezed in there. Second ingredient. I'm going for my Orgite, which is kind of an almond um, syrup. Some bars will use um, Amaretto, Disarone, things like that. But I like to get the sweetness from this Orgite. Uh, so we're just going just about 5 mil going in there. Okay, So we've got Orgite going in there. The next ingredient, this is one of my favourites for rum-based drinks, uh, Falernum. It's kind of uh, cloves and cinnamon and spices in there as a... Um, kind of a sweetener. Again, I'm just going at another uh, five mil going in there. Five mil is about a bar spoon. All right. So lime juice, orgeat, and um, falernum gone in there. My next ingredient. Now, I love these. I, I've gone through a couple of bowls of these. These are bitterments. Um, I can't even sell it. Anamancula tiki bitters. And just to read you, that bitters very concentrated flavour. We have got, what have we got? A blend of cinnamon, allspice, island spices um, going in there. So I'm just going to put, this is a pipette, just going to put half of that actually. About, there we go, about an eighth of a pipette going in there. And again, there will be links in the show notes in the blog of where you can get all these from. Now, a couple of other ingredients. This is an orange curacao. Um, equivalent of this would be something like a Grand Marnier or a Pierre Franz um, Curacao. I, like, I do actually quite like this one. Marie Brizard Bowls do a decent one as well. I'm just going 15 mil, 1.5 going in there. Um, so that's my orange curacao. You can make that at home. Um, I can, might actually in the blog, I'll, I'll stick a link up or I'll stick a, a recipe to make that yourself as well if you've got time. Now, as I'm drinking this myself, I'm going to treat myself. This is my uh, Plantation Jamaican Grand Tour Rum 2002. Absolutely love this. I've forgotten how much this is now. Uh, it's about 48, 50 pounds a bottle. As I say, as it's for me, um, I love this. So I'm just going to pop that in there. 50 mil going in there. And then for the final ingredient, this is the flip. I am just going to do pop in a bit of pineapple juice. So I've got pressed pineapple juice in there. Um, just Tesco's own. This is. So I'm just going to do a quick um, 50 mil. There we go. Now I'm just going to give this a quick shake. Stick some ice cubes in there. Just want to get this proper frothy. Let's say give it a quick shake, quick hard pass shake. There we go. We've got that stuck. There we go. And all we're going to do fresh ice, fresh ice in the glass. And I'm just going to strain that very slowly in there. 
I don't use Angostura bitters or anything like that. I just prefer the tiki kind of bitters going in there. Let's say, perfect there. Gonna garnish that with dehydrated lime. Could stick an orange in there, cherry. And that is why, very, very simple, Mai Tai recipe. Absolutely love these. These are what I drink at home if I'm having anything. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. You get that little bit of the tiki spice coming through there with the rum. You don't have to use that expensive rum. Uh, this does work nicely with um, some of the cheaper rums out there, spiced rums. But as I say, as it's for me, I do like my rum. So that, ladies and gents, is my Mai Tai. Full recipe will be in my blog. In the next video, I'm going to rock out. Uh, 8 past 10, is that his name? Yeah, 8 past 10. I'm going to rock out the gin video where I'm going to get lots of different, well, maybe three or four different normal gin and tonics and we're gonna try them with different dehydrated fruits to see how that alters the taste of a gin and tonic. So stay tuned for that. Remember to hit that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you really soon.